Welcome back to the Trade Hacker Mindset. In this episode, I want to talk about the 75 hard program. Trading the markets can be difficult to master and seemingly just out of reach. Professional traders have a secret. Trading requires total mental and emotional control. It requires the Trade Hacker Mindset. All right, so let's jump into our discussion of the 75 hard program. If you're not familiar with this, I would encourage you to, well, there's a couple different resources. The program was created by a guy named Andy Frisella. Uh, so you can look him up. You can uh, go to 75hard.com. You can go to Andy Frisella's podcast. He's got an episode that, that lays it all out. But essentially what, and, and it's become, or you can go to social media and, and search the hashtag 75 hard. There's a ton of, there's a ton of uh, people posting about it. So what this is, it, it, and I think a lot of people think of it as like a fitness challenge or some type of uh, health related challenge to lose weight or, you know, things like that. But the reality of, of what it was designed to do and what it is, is it's to build mental toughness and discipline. Now, what is the one thing that as traders, we need to be the strongest at? It's mental toughness, right? It's being able to control our emotions. It's being able to have that mental discipline to execute orders and follow our trading rules. So I've made the decision that I am about to embark on a 75 hard program. So let me let me break down the basics to you and, and tell you what exactly it is and what I'll be doing. So to start with, it's a 75 day program, okay? And if you haven't been able to tell yet from the name, it's not easy, okay? It's called 75 hard for a reason. And so here's what you have to do every single day for 75 days, okay? Number one, you have to work out twice a day for 45 minutes each time. And one of those workouts has to be outdoors, okay? You can't work out for an hour and a half. It has to be two separate 45 minute workouts and one has to be outside. Okay, now remember this is two 45 minute workouts every single day. So I live in Missouri. It snows here. We have tornadoes. We have ice. We have 110 degree temperatures in the summer. It doesn't matter. There's there's zero, zero compromise for this for this program. So uh, two workouts a day, 45 minutes, one has to be outside, okay? Next thing, you have to follow some type of diet. Now, the diet that you follow is is pretty flexible, So, meaning flexible from a standpoint of you can choose whatever it is you want. So if you want to do paleo, if you want to do keto, if you want to do, if you have your own very specific criteria, but <clears throat> there is zero cheat meals. So, you know, some of these diets have, oh, you can have one cheat meal a day or you can have one cheat day a week or something like that. That's not permitted here. So you have to follow a very strict diet and there are no cheat meals and no alcohol, okay? Not a glass of wine when you come home, not a beer at, at, for happy hour with your buddies, zero alcohol, okay? So it's a, it's a very, uh, very strict diet. Uh, diet regimen. So what what I, I haven't fully decided, by the way, I'm going to start this on April 1st of 2022. So that is in less than one week. I haven't 100% decided on what my diet regimen is going to be. I'm, I'm kind of thinking about breaking it into three different sections. So for example, maybe the first three to four weeks, I would do no meat, you know, so it'd be more like a, you know, kind of a plant-based type diet. And then the next three to four weeks, I would do no dairy. And the next three to four weeks, I would do, um, I don't know, no bread, you know, something like that. So I'm, I'm trying to kind of figure that out, but that's, uh, that's how the diet works. You can, you got to follow something strict, but regardless, you know, I mean, there's not going to be any desserts, no alcohol, anything like that. Uh, the next thing you have to drink one gallon of water every single day. This will be something that I don't think will be that difficult for me. I, I tend to drink a lot of water anyway. I'm, I've been trying to track how much I've been drinking and I'm, I'm typically at around at least three quarters or more of a gallon a day already. Um, so I don't, I, I should be able to push that up uh, 
fairly easily. That this, that'll probably be one of the easiest parts of the of the program for me. Uh, next thing is you have to read ten pages from an audio. Uh, excuse me, you have to read ten pages of a nonfiction book every day. Audio books do not count. So. Uh, it has to be some type of book that makes you better. Uh, it can't be Harry Potter. Can't be Fifty Shades of Grey. Can't be you know. Can't, can't be BS like that. It's got to be something that you know that is motivating. An autobiography, a self help, uh, some type of book that makes you better. And then lastly, you have to take a progress pic of yourself every day. And this is to help you see the progress that you're making. And that's more from a from a health standpoint. Now, if you if you miss any one of these things that I just described, then then you have to start over at day one. Okay. So it's 75 days long. You have to do everything that I just mentioned. You have to do it every single day for 75 days. If you miss one thing, you have to start over at day one. Okay. That means if I forget to take my progress pick. Okay. And if you go on social media, I'm not going to be posting this on social media, uh, but you'll see people with their shirts off, you know, taking their, taking their progress picks every day and posting those. If I forget to do that one day, I have to go back to day one. If I forget to read my 10 pages that day, I have to go back to day one. If I miss drinking a full gallon of water, that day, I have to go back to day one. If I cheat and have a cookie, I have to go back to day one. Uh, if I miss one of my workouts, one of my 45 minute workouts, I have to go back to day one. And so this is the the reason that I'm doing this. I kind of alluded to it at the beginning is from a trader's perspective, I'm not, I'm not necessarily doing this for the fitness aspect, although I have been kind of slacking on my fitness uh, what I typically do. And so I'm starting to build an extra little bit of love around the uh, waistline, if you know what I mean. But, and so that's, that's definitely going to be a byproduct of, of doing this, of, you know, getting healthier, getting more fit, being more active. So that, that's certainly a, a, I like that aspect of it as well. But for me, it's more about the mental discipline for trading. I've done better in my trading over the last six months. In other words, and I'm, you know, saying it from a PL standpoint, I've made more money in my trading over the last six months than I've ever made in any other six month period. Okay. So you might be thinking, well, if you're doing so well, why, are you, you know, why are you doing this? The reason that I'm doing this is because I know that the reason I've had the best trading I've ever had over the last six months is because of the mental discipline that I've had. You know, I've talked about how I, um, a while back, I hired a trading psychologist. Well, a lot of what the trading psychologist and the sessions that we went through was about doing little things to make sure that I'm following my rules and make sure I am not letting my emotions get the best of me uh, with with the different trades that I'm making. Okay, so it's, it's all mental. It's all mindset. That's what this podcast is all about. It's all about the mindset of trading. And and so I can see such a significant, uh, a significant difference, a significant benefit from what uh, I got from that, that I want to keep that train moving. You know, I want to, I want to, I want to not only you know, I, I've had the best six months, but I know I can be even better. So I'm looking for this to be used as something that that takes me to even a whole nother level, just kind of keeps that train going, keep, continue to do things that elevate my mindset, that can create patterns, that can create habits that make the mental discipline side even, I don't want to say easier because it's never easy but it just makes it more and more and more part of my daily routine. So I would love to uh, have some trade hackers come along on this journey with me. Um, if you have heard of 75 hard and I, I mean, I've heard of this thing for a couple of years, but um, I never, I had never had any desire whatsoever to do it. Uh, I, and, and kind of where this came about recently is, is a, like I, like I said, I, I've just seen such an, a, an, a explosion in, in growth in my mental discipline from, uh, from the trading perspective. And I want to, I, I wanted to find other things to kind of keep that going, but B, um, you know, I just, I started listening to Andy Frisella, the guy who created this. I, I started listening to his podcast, which by the way, is a great podcast. Uh, but if you, are offended by foul language or anything like that? Probably not for you, uh, but but it is a great podcast. I would I would encourage you to listen to it because it's um, 
it's just it's just real. It's you know we we have so much BS in our society these days that it's it's kind of a refreshing um, little bit of dose of reality and and how things really are and how they should be. So I started listening to the podcast and with with no intent of doing the seventy five hard, but the more I listened and then he kind of drew me in and talked about the podcast episode where he describes it. Next thing you know, I'm like, all right, I got to do this. Uh, and I've been, I've been trying to find, uh, friends and people to do it with me. And I really haven't found anyone yet. It's not something that a lot of people want to embark on because it is hard. Most people like things to be easy, right? We want to be, we want things to be easy. We want to be comfortable and that's not what this is. So this is something that is going to get you out of your comfort zone. It is going to build mental toughness. And it's going to be something that uh, it can be thought of as a, a pretty massive accomplishment. I mean, it, 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 it's almost like training for a triathlon or training for a marathon, but for your brain. And that's, that's why I'm doing it. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you all, let you know what I'm going to be doing from starting on April 1st of 2022 for the following 75 days in a row. And hey, you know what? If I mess up and I have to start over, I will let you know that too. So uh, anyway, give me a post in the Trade Hacker Mindset in, uh, in Discord. Let me know if this is something, A, I'd love to hear if any of you listening have done this. And B, if any of you listening would want to do this. Um, and so I'm starting April 1. By the time you listen to this, it may be too late, but um, feel free to jump in anytime as well. So thanks for listening. I hope this was helpful. If you want to be part of a growing community, go to community.navigationtrading.com. We've got hundreds of traders interacting on a daily basis, not only about the mindset stuff, but sharing trade ideas with the sole purpose of helping each other become better traders. I uh, look forward to seeing you on the inside and we'll see you in the next episode.